This is MAC 1140, final exam, question 18. And here they give us the graph, and um, they say which function has the, this graph. And the choices are, well, they give us four polynomial choices, and we're supposed to be able to uh, use process of elimination by looking at the graph. So when, if you know that your graph is that of a polynomial, you can look at the end behavior and tell something very important about the polynomial. So when I say end behavior, I mean what is the function doing like at the very left-hand side and the very right-hand side? And there, there are really only four possible cases. So one case is that the polynomial goes up to the left like this and then goes down to the right, which is the co case corresponding to what we have. And there's a case where the uh, polynomial can go up to the left, but also up to the right. There's the case where the polynomial can go down to the left and up to the right. And the case where the polynomial can go down to the left and down to the right. There's only four possible combinations here. Anyways, um, well, what you can get from the end behavior is the degree of the polynomial, or not the degree, but whether the degree is odd or even and also the sign of the leading coefficient. So whether the co leading coefficient is positive or negative. So the first thing you want to notice, are the two ends doing the same thing? Um, if they're not, like right here, we have one end going up, one end going down, that means that the degree of the polynomial is odd. So that corresponds to, so here and here, degree of polynomial is odd. So I'll just write odd. And vice versa, if the two sides do, this, do the same thing, i.e. if they both go up or they both go down, then that means the degree of the polynomial is even. So even. Okay. And another thing, if now, for this one, we just look at the, um, the right-hand side. If the right-hand side is going down, that means the leading coefficient is negative. So, um, comma, 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 comma. Okay, so the leading coefficient is negative where the, um, where the right side points down. So that's case one and case four. So leading coefficient, I'll just abbreviate with coef, is neg, or negative, and then here for case two, the um, the right hand side is pointing up. That means the leading coefficient is positive. Just write pause. Okay, case three we're going up again, so this is also positive leading coefficient. And here case four, the right hand side points down. That means that's a negative leading coefficient. So negative. Okay, so this is enough to answer our question because we can just now we'll take a look at our answer choices, and we have that. Um, okay, now this is information about. So I'll use this um, to say that. Okay, we are case one, so that our polynomial will be. Um, it'll have an odd degree, so um, the answer. has an odd degree and what else do we know? We know the sign of the leading coefficient because the right hand side points down we know the leading coefficient is negative so the answer has an odd degree and a negative leading coefficient so let's look at our answers now Okay, well question A, it's neg first of all, when you look at your answers, you want to make sure that they're written in descending order of power of x. So a quick inspection here will tell you that yes, that's how these are all written. So that way you can r readily and easily get your, um, the sign of the leading coefficient and the degree of the polynomial. We see that for choices uh, B and D, the, um, the degree of the polynomial is 20. So 20 is even, that means B and D are out. Okay, so we have A and C. A and C, they each have degree 19, so those are both odd, so yeah, those are both candidates. 
But what about leading coefficients? Leading coefficient, um, in case you don't know, that's the number in front of the highest power of x. That is, uh, for part choice a, it's negative 3. For choice three, uh, c, it's 3. So here, we need to have a negative leading coefficient. So that eliminates c. That means the only thing we have that can possibly co be correct is answer a.